This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the major indices finished a listless week, not far from where they started with below average daily trading volume and declining volatility. The Dow, however, notched its fourth straight positive week, rising 1.2%. The S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, meanwhile, snagged their fourth positive week in five. On the economic front, Advanced retail sales in March showed consumer spending fell twice as much as expected. Retail sales declined by 1% last month, more than a half of 1% drop expected by economists, in part because consumers paid less for fuel. Now, the disappointing retail sales data offset excitement around two back-to-back -back reports this week, signaling cooling inflation. The March producer price index, a measure of prices paid by companies, declined a half of 1% from the prior month even as economists expected prices to stay the same. Now, the PPI, which is considered a leading indicator of consumer inflation, bolstered a trend of easing inflation seen in the March Consumer Price Index report released on Wednesday. Consumer prices grew 5% on an annual basis, which was the smallest year-over-year -year increase in nearly two years. The tone started to change for the week on Friday when J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup reported their first quarter results, marking the beginning of earnings season. So far, so good. JP Morgan and Citigroup finished up the day 7.6% and 4.8% respectively. Now, the next few weeks, investors will scrutinize how companies are dealing with persistent inflation and higher interest rates. The stakes are especially high for small to medium-sized banks following the failures of Sil Silicon Valley Bank and Signature. Banks' balance sheets will be under greater scrutiny with investors on the lookout for potential deposit outflows as depositors have been shifting large sums from low-yielding bank savings accounts to higher-yielding treasuries insured CDs offered at wealth management firms like ours at Payne Capital Management. Now, according to the perma bears and the pessimists, this week's kickoff to the corporate earnings season offers the next trial du jour for why the markets can't continue to rise. Since October of last year, when we believe the market's bottom, the naysayers have continued to sing their favorite tune, the bear market blues. What they fail to tell you is that by following their advice since October, you have missed a 15% return in U.S. stocks and a whopping 26% return in international stocks as many of the European stock markets are closing in on all-time record highs. Not to mention a monster rally in bond prices as the 10-year Treasury yield continues to fall. So if you're keeping score so far this year, it's been markets one, naysayers zero. Maybe, yes, maybe, the naysayers will realize something I discovered decades ago, that the financial markets are smarter than all of us. And I mean all of us with no exceptions. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 70 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.